Hi and welcome to a bit of a look at some two blade coax strippers. I've got a bit of RG6 quad shield here, I've got a whole range of different connectors and I've got four of our two blade strippers and these all range in price uh, from quite cheap to quite expensive, quite cheap to quite expensive. So which you use depends on the type of cable you've got, the type of plugs you want to use and your experience with the stripping. So taking it very easily, this is a little two, two blade coax stripper. This one has uh, RG6, RG59 at one end and RG11 at the other. It's a little pen type one with a little clip so you can stick it on your belt or uh, in your pocket and take it with you wherever you go. Uh, it's called the HT323. So to use it, all you do is you know, press on the end here, put your cable through the middle of it, and then twist it around. Maybe one, two, three, one, two, three, until you can hear the cable's no longer biting. Pull that off, there's our two blade. So we've got our end section, our center section, nice and clean and simple. Easy enough to work with, easy enough to play with and to plug into any of our uh, coaxial plugs. So, quick and easy, just takes a little bit more force because it hasn't quite stripped far enough in for this particular cable or this connector, but works really well, simple enough. Cut that off. Moving on, this one is the HT351. Difference is this has got a bladed cartridge in the end of it, so you can see that there if I let the camera focus in, there we go. So this little cartridge is removable, all I've got to do is pull that out with the tab on the back and I can flip that over to change the coax type and the blade depth based on that. So we've got an RG59 and 6 style. We've got a little bit of, you won't be able to see that focus well, but a little bit of uh, loop tape stuck on the side there from the supplier. It's actually quite a useful idea it's for flaring out, uh, for brushing out your, uh, your braid once you've actually stripped the cable. Same sort of reaction as the other one. Push the cable through the middle of it. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. Hit the camera. Thank you. Got our two cuts. Got our center one. Got our outer one there. And again, Pretty simple just to insert into your coax plug of choice. There we go. No adjustments, no anything on this one. And once the blades are done, you've got to replace the whole cartridge. But with the previous one, there's no way to replace the blades on that one. So cheap and simple. Last two I want to show you. This one is another two blade stripper, similar sort of idea, and you've got a cartridge in this one as well that allows you to adjust it depending on the type of cable you've got. Now they make a difference here in that the blades are in the unit itself rather than the cartridge which means the blades are adjustable. So there's a little allen key on the base of the unit and two little grub screws at the end here so you can adjust this to match the cable that you've got. So cut this off, that's it. Take your cable in, there we go, one, two, three, one, two, three, there we go. That one's there, and we've adjusted this one a little bit better so I can take out that inner braid as well. It means that it should be an easier fit. And again, it depends on the type of plug and connection you type you prefer. So I put that one onto there, and we're ready to compress. Simple enough. Okay, the last one I want to show you is the most expensive of the lot by far, and this is from Belden. So Belden makes a range of uh, different cables and tools to suit and this one is their basic coax stripper. So theirs does away with the adjustments by allen key or any other bit that you might lose and instead you've actually got a dial on the bottom of the unit. So if I let this focus in, I'll try and get a good idea on that, there we go. Alright so you've got 6 there and 59 there and all you do is you adjust and rotate this dial to suit the type of cable that you've got. We've got pretty heavy duty RG6 quad shield, so I'm going to use it right on its biggest. And this little cartridge piece is actually replaceable, and it comes with a spare one, you can see it there. So as your blades go dull, you just slip that out and off you go. Now this one's got one little thing that I'm not particularly fond of, because I like leaving my center core longer, but this has got a br an edge on it here, so when you push it in, you can only go so far with the coax. Same sort of idea, one, two, three, one, two, three, release from there, again, cut, braid, done, simple enough to do. This one also has on the side here, you can see a 
coax a little flaring tool. So if I put this into here, it just makes it the end of it flare out a little bit more. Yeah, well, there we go, which means that when we plug our cable and connection onto it, it just goes on a little bit quicker and easier. And so while this tool, there we go, let it focus, there we go. So while this tool is uh, quite a bit more expensive than the other ones, just those little additions like the replacement blade cartridge and the flaring tool mean that you can more or less recreate a perfect uh, cut every time you want to. So yeah, really, really useful to see. Hopefully that was very useful for you. Take care.